I do, but hi guys, welcome. Hope everybody is having a fun day. We are having a bit of a day. Any other East Coasters out there having some fun in the snow? Okay, I gotta find a spot where this lighting is not horrible. Hi, Shelly. I saw a bunch, I think I saw Karen jump in here too. So, how are you guys? I am on the East Coast, and thankfully I am not up north. Oh, just dusting, you guys. Okay. Not fun snow. Yeah, I hate when it's not fun snow. Um, we are getting just ice. Ice, ice, ice in North Carolina, which is not a whole lot of fun. So I just thought I would jump on here real quick. Sorry, I'm writing down uh, an intro because I don't have my note card on me. I was not prepared when I started the scope. Let's pull this. Anyway, I'm Mary, homeschooling mom of four. The kids are all running around in the freezing rain. It is literal rain falling from the sky, and it is freezing cold out there, but they do not care. They are running around in it and having a blast. They are 13, 11, 9. I'll show you the puzzle I've been working on. Um, I am Mary at Not Before 7, so you can find some of the information I periscope about on my blog and there it is all right um this is the talking jigsaw puzzle i had a talking jigsaw puzzle when i was growing up middle or high school and it was such a vivid memory for me that i bought one for my kids now the price on amazon right now is a little ridiculous i think it's like 50 dollars, though you can get them from other sellers for in the 30s but here is a talking jigsaw puzzle and how it works this is the box it comes in and the concept this is the office one you know what i'm gonna go this way sorry guys but this is gonna work a little better for me this is the office one and the way the talking jigsaw hello amy the way the talking jigsaw works is that this the way you're seeing this here this is not the correct order of the office buildings so all these little buildings are four pieces and you build all the rooms and then you have to read these conversations to put the puzzle together. So I'm gonna show you, this is actually a very difficult puzzle. If you have eighth graders and up, my seventh grader's working on it with me, so is her friend. Um, and the three of us were kind of, ooh, that's the camera. The three of us were working on it today, but it is not easy. So I wanted to warn people because a few people have purchased it because it was in my first scope ever when I didn't know what I was doing scoping and I happened to show this puzzle on my piano and say how great it was, and it is great, but it's a complicated puzzle. So let me show you how this works. Okay, these are the little office buildings I'm building, the little rooms. So see, each of them is four pieces and all of these rooms will fit together in any order. So this one could fit here or it could fit here. You don't actually know unless you read the conversations and look at the room numbers. So when you see this one says room 614. So once I've got this set up, I've, I figured out all the stairs here. So the stairs are going down the side and I know this is the first floor. I can count up four, five, six to the sixth floor. And I know this guy is in 614 and I can count across. Yes. The Christmas stall. It's okay. it's and then this yeah, says that slide McBride in 814 right upstairs. So I know this guy 714. Slide McBride, whoever that is, is going to be in 814. And because this room number is 614, that's how I can put it together. So I'm working on this one here. Yeah, it is challenging. This is not for elementary school children. This says there's seven cool ones on the window ledge up there because he's lassoing the seven cool ones. This gal is saying, what's with the lasso, Tex? So she's next to him. And this one is saying five, five, uh, what is that? 518. So that's 518. So this is the 18 room line. 
So how do you know if you're doing it right? This is the big tip I want to give you. We went to Home Depot and bought this. This is a piece of plexiglass. So you build the puzzle on something clear because here's the deal. When they are together in the correct order, they spell out congratulations on the bottom in all different fonts. So I'm going to give you the underneath tour. Let me pull this out a little. And what you can do is you're putting them together. Is somebody, oh, I'm scooting under. Oh, you can't see because it's dark. Gets on the floor and see those congratulations. They will all fit together correctly if you're doing it the right way. So that's it. Somebody's at the door. All right, so that is how the talking jigsaw puzzle works and how it gets put together. So it's not an easy one, but I wanted to share it because I know some people saw it in my first scope and were really excited about it. And back then it was a little less expensive, but I wanted to give everyone a heads up that this is not a sit down and get a puzzle done in an hour or two. You definitely are gonna invest some time it was part of my enchanted mess in my first one because it just sits out. And then we can pick up the plexiglass. It is fun. And we actually store it on top of our piano. So I just take it over and put it on top of the piano. And they actually have a lot of them. They have like an office building and a hospital and all sorts of stuff. But oh my gosh, I was looking on Amazon. They must not make them anymore because there were some that were over $100. It's cool, but it's not that cool. So you just kind of have to watch it. I don't know if you know about the Amazon price tracker, but if you go to camel, 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 um, it's a website, camel like the animal, three times, camel, camel, camel .com, you can price track them and it will notify you when they drop to a certain price. So it is called the talking jigsaw puzzle. I'll put the box up here again. There it is, the talking jigsaw puzzle. And this is the one I liked was the office, the office building. That's the exact one I had growing up and remember doing it with friends. And so it's a snow day here. So I just broke it out for my middle schooler. Yes, thank you, the talking jigsaw puzzle. I just broke it out for my middle schooler and her friend is really enjoying it too. And we worked on it for about an hour and then we'll put it away. But um, it will take many hours. Um, putting the rooms together is challenging enough, much less than following all the conversations. But we're getting to the fun part because we've got a lot of the rooms together. So I saw my dad just popped in. So I see our progress on the puzzle because he might remember it from when I was a kid growing up, um, this puzzle that we're putting together. So it has been fantastic. But, oh, hi, Julie. Unfortunately finishing up here but the puzzle has been a lot of fun it is definitely more for yourself or your much older children because um, it is not going to get done in just one evening <laughs> so you need to be good with mess you got to get that plexiglass and put it on there no problem I often have to catch replays um, so that was everything guys I hope you guys are having a great night and um Enjoy the rest of your evening, and if you're on the East Coast like myself, uh, stay warm and um, have some fun out sledding in that snow. All right, bye, guys. You're welcome, Shelly.